I am the real wolf spider. It's upside down. And this is going to be another review on some 9mm Luger ammo. Earlier I did a review about Seller and Balot 9mm. I said it was dirty ammo. I still stand by that, but I want to update you on a couple things that are important other than just how dirty or clean the ammo is. I'm going to classify three classifications of the ammo. How clean it is, how it performs in the weapon, for me, it's a Glock 17. When I say that, I mean how well it feeds and accuracy, how well it shoots. Fiat, you see two boxes. This one is made in Italy. This one's made in the U.S. I'm going to go down here and zoom in. The Italy one, I don't know if you can tell, has a more of a bronze-colored full metal jacket. The U.S. is more copper-colored, full metal jacket. The difference between the two, in my opinion, is night and day. The Italy stuff, uh, I got several stove pipes. I got some double feeds. It's fairly accurate. It's fairly clean. It's good for kerplinking. I would not use it for self-defense ammo. The American-made stuff... About the same in cleanliness as far as mechanically operating. It feeds much better. I didn't get any stove pipes, no double feeds. About the same accuracy. The cellar and blot, which has that seal on it, that makes this ammo less per, uh, uh, pervious to moisture and chemicals. That They do that... Um, has a better shelf life. It's kind of dirty, in my opinion, a lot of black gunky stuff, but not to the point where it's going to gum up your weapon unless you're firing at least a couple hundred rounds before you start to notice the difference. This is probably the most accurate of all the stuff I have. Accuracy is very good. Performance in the weapon itself, also very good. I didn't get any failure to feeds, no double feeds, no stove pipes. This is champion, federal champion. This is pretty good stuff. I did have a couple of failure to feeds at first, but they stopped after a while. I don't know what the deal was. This stuff is relatively accurate. I'd rate its accuracy within like the Fiacci. At 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 uh at twenty five yards with the cellar and blot, I was able to get groupings within uh, four inches of each other. With the rest of the stuff, six to eight inches groupings. Still not bad for 25 yards for a handgun. And last but not least, the Remington hollow point. This is a fully jacketed hollow point. This is an anti-personnel self-defense. This is what a lot of police departments use. This is very reliable. It fed well. I didn't get any failure to feeds or stove pipes or anything like that. I would say its accuracy is close to the cellar and blot, better than the Fiacci. So those are the ammos that I have used. Fiacci made in Italy, not as good as Fiacci made in U.S. Cellar and blot, very good, a little dirty, but very hot, a little faster, a little hotter recoil, very accurate. The Federal Champion, not bad. Pretty good kerplinking stuff. You can get that stuff pretty cheap, too. The Remington Hollow Point, very good. Very good feeding, very good accuracy. So that's it for now for my review on 9mm ammunition. Please note that this review refers to my 9mm ammunition working in a well-cleaned and fairly dry, I use very little if any oil, 9mm Glock 17 Gen 3. And also note that I use a steel guide rod rather than the stock plastic guide rod. Um, that's about it. That's the only thing that I've changed on my Glock is the guide rod is the stainless steel. Gives a little bit less muzzle flip, not much. Trust me, the, the, the weight is negligible when you're actually firing. 
I did notice a little bit better accuracy when I was double and triple tapping, but um, muzzle flip is more of a handling of it with your hands rather than the, the weight of the gun. You don't start to know, in my opinion, you don't start to notice lack of muzzle flip until you get into some really heavy guns. Anyway, again, Fiacci Italy, good for kerplinking, but a lot of failures. Fiacci US, much better. Good, good accuracy, fed well. Seller and Blot. By the way, this Seller and Blot is uh, a green and red box. They make one that's in a red box only. The green and red box with the red dot on the bottom of it, I think, has a hotter load in it. I think they call it a police load. Uh, this, there's one that's actually called uh, Plus P. This one isn't, but I've heard people tell me, I can't say for sure, but I think the one in the green and red is uh, a little hotter load, and you can tell it. It's very accurate. It's a little dirty, accurate. Federal, good for kerplanking, good price. Remington, actually not a bad price. Under 30 bucks for 100 rounds at Walmart for hollow points that are very reliable. Not bad. So that's my review on 9mm Luger ammo. That's it.